Hey guys, let's start the 47th episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. To whom did Messi say dance now? Was Denmark Rob blind? Harry Kane equals England's scoring record. Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. AC Milan are still working to sign Olivier Giroud. Talks progressing and new contacts in the next hours with Giroud agents and Chelsea in order to reach an agreement. Borussia Dortmund want a prime midfielder Marcel Sabitzer away from Bundesliga rivals RB Leipzig. According to Bild, it has been widely reported that the 27-year-old could move to a new home this summer, with Premier League sites also linked. Now Lorca have announced the free signing of John Costa from Villarreal. The 33-year-old had been a member of Villarreal for more than a decade, making 211 La Liga appearances for them. Rennes are planning ahead for the potential sale of star midfielder Eduardo Camavinga, and are now in advanced talks with Midtjylland to sign possible replacement Jens Kajus. He is a player that we have followed for over a year, technical director Florian Morris told reporters. He can start immediately in his big future potential. We are in advanced discussions. Manchester City will send 18-year-old Philip Stevanovic to SC here and Bean on a two-year loan, reports VI. The winger remains a long way from Pep Guardiola's squad, but the club hope he can develop enough in the Netherlands' top flight to work his way into the fold at the end of his loan deal or attract interest for a profit-making sale. Aston Villa goalkeeper Martinez was the hero, however, as he saved three of Colombia's spot kicks, from Mina, Davinson Sanchez and Edwin Cardona. And 34-year-old Barca legend Messi was full of praise for his international teammate, telling reporters after the game, We have Emmy, who is a phenomenon. We trusted him. We achieved the goal of being able to play all the games and now we are going to the final. Inter defender Andrew Gravelin is set to join Rhymes on loan with a 4 million euros purchase obligation, reports Latin Sport. Gravelin impressed last season on loan at Lorient, and St. Etienne and Montpellier were also keen on a move. Manchester City have reached a pre-agreement with a Galaxy wonder kid Alejandro Alcala, reports ESPN. Alcala, 15, is currently a member of the Galaxy's reserve squad and has been tipped as a star of the future. The attacking midfielder was born in California but has represented Mexico at various youth levels. Joel Campbell has joined Liga MX side Monterrey, the club has announced. The well-traveled Costa Rican has played for clubs all over Europe, including Arsenal, and joins from fellow Liga MX club Leon. Colombian striker Carlos Baca has left Villarreal after four seasons. The Liga club have confirmed. Baca played a total of 145 games for the club and scored 43 goals. Gunners would want an obligation to buy at the end of the loan period. Arsenal would be willing to allow Hector Bellerin to join Inter on loan this summer, but only if the Italians agree to purchase the player at the end of the agreement. Gazzetta dello Sport reports that the Gunners would want around 25 million euros for Bellerin as an obligation to buy at the end of any loan term. As a result, the Soraya club may well turn their attention elsewhere, with Chelsea defender David Zappacosta apparently also on their shortlist. Julian Nazisman wants Leon Goretzka to stay at Bayern Munich for years to come amid reports linking him to Manchester United. The midfielder has entered the final year of his contract with the Bundesliga champions and United are reported to be eager to bring him to the Premier League. But new Bayern boss Nazisman hopes he can count on him for next season and beyond. Liverpool could be ready to make their next move in the transfer market with Football Insider reporting that the club have inquired about Adama Traor. The report claims that Jurgen Klopp is keen on the Wolves winger who was linked with a move back in 2020 after an impressive campaign. It is understood that the Reds believe the Wolves star could add versatility to the front three, having impressed when playing on both sides of the pitch. The 25-year-old would join Diogo Jota, who made the move from Wolves to Liverpool last summer for 41 million euros. After being one of Atletico Madrid's key men, Antoine Griezmann has not set the world alight at Barcelona and according to the Daily Mirror he has been offered to Chelsea. Talvin Phillips has been one of England's star players in midfield at Euro 2020, but the Yorkshire Perlo, as he is referred to, is set to remain at Leeds United. His agent, Kevin Sharp, has informed in news.com that Phillips is happy playing for his boyhood club and the club of his heart. Now, let's move towards the major news of the day. The Blues believe Dortmund will be unable to refuse such a high bid. Chelsea are preparing to offer Borussia Dortmund up to 150 million euro star striker Erling Holland, writes 90 Minutes. Holland and Kylian Mbappé are considered the best young forwards potentially available on the transfer market. And after Manchester United locked down Jadon Sancho, the stakes will be even higher for the Blues to buy one of them to improve their attack. Despite spending around 120 million euros last summer on Timo Werner and Kai Havertz, Chelsea are still in the market for an out-and-out -out striker this year.
Paris Saint-Germain appears to have accidentally confirmed the signing of Sergio Ramos after his departure from Real Madrid. Ramos was seen at Parc des Princes on Wednesday and is expected to officially be announced as a new PSG player on Thursday. The PSG appear to have jumped the gun by posting an article on their official website on Wednesday which confirmed Ramos would be wearing the number 4 in Paris. The article is quickly deleted. This number 4, I appreciated a lot out of superstition, because I had it from the start of my career, and then it accompanied me throughout my life. Continued with me, brought good luck, and a lot of victories. Ramos said in the article, Now number 4 is part of me as a person and as a professional. For me, it's a privilege to be able to wear this number in such a great team. Paris Saint-Germain. So it will be very special to be able to wear my number here in Paris. Raheem Sterling dashed through Denmark's defense in extra time of the Euro 2020 semi-final and went down in the box after what appeared to be minimal contact. But the referee still pointed to the spot and although Kasper Schmeichel saved Kane's penalty, the England captain buried the rebound to send the three Lions to the final with a 2-1 win. But speaking to ITV after the game, Sterling said, It was definitely a penalty. I went into the box. He stuck his leg out and it was a clear penalty. Harry Kane tied Gary Lanker's record for the most combined England goals at European Championships and World Cups, but his extra-time winner against Denmark came with huge controversy. The goal was Kane's fourth of Euro 2020 after he started the tournament with three straight scoreless games in the group stage. Kane won the Golden Boot at the 2018 World Cup by scoring six goals, making Wednesday's strike against Denmark his 10th at a major tournament. Lanker previously held the record for England, with Kane's next goal set to see him own the mark all on his own. Lionel Messi was caught taunting Colombia centre-back Yuri Mina after his penalty miss in the Copa America on Tuesday night. The Everton centre-back, who played alongside Messi during his time at Barcelona, saw his penalty saved by Emiliano Martinez, with Argentina going on to win the shootout to set up a mouth-watering meeting with Brazil in the final. And Messi was caught on camera shouting Bela Ahora, which translates in English to dance now, and Mina immediately after he missed his spot kick. Messi hasn't spoken publicly about the incident although the suggestion is that he was reacting to Mina's celebration after he had scored in Colombia's penalty shootout win over Uruguay in the quarterfinal of the competition. From the moment the 2020-2021 club season ended, the Barcelona hierarchy got to work on a major clear-out operation. The objective of such an operation is to reduce the club's salary cap and finance a new contract for Lionel Messi. However, the task of selling players is not straightforward for Barcelona, given that certain players earning enormous wages are unwilling to move to other clubs where they will earn less. Therefore, after identifying the players to be moved on, the club have set their operation in motion. On Tuesday, Junior Firpo's move to Leeds United for 15 million euros was confirmed. This was followed up on Wednesday, as Almeria exercised an option to buy Sergio Akim for 3.5 million euros. Jean Claire Tobitos has signed for Nice for 8.5 million euros, with Conrad de la Fuente set to move to Marseille for 3 million euros. However, Barcelona's efforts to sell players show no signs of slowing down. Mireille and Pijanic looks set to return to Juventus on loan. As for the cases of players such as Nito, Martin Braithwaite and even Philippe Coutinho, their futures look set to be resolved shortly. Real Madrid have been linked with bringing Luis Campos back to the club for a few months now, with the Portuguese sporting director constructing a title-winning little side before leaving, and it is thought that he could play a key role in Los Blancos' pursuit of Paris Saint-Germain forward Kylian Mbappé, Campos, who was at Real Madrid during Jose Mourinho's time at the club, left for Monaco before assuming another director of football role at Lille. But it was at the Principality Club where he struck up a good relationship with those close to Mbappé. I spent three great years at Real Madrid and I had a very good relationship with the president Florentino Perez and the directors, Campos revealed in an interview with El Equipe. But, for now, I can assure you that there is nothing I agree with anyone. When the discussion switched to Mbappé, Campos recognized that he remains close to his family. It's true that I know the family well. Since Kylian was 14 years old, he noted, We have a great friendship, but that's all. Elequipe, however, claimed that PSG could use the same trick as Real Madrid and try to hire Campos in order to gain an advantage with regard to Mbappé future. PSG are trying to get the 22-year-old to renew in order to fend off interest from Real Madrid. London's Metropolitan Police revealed in the early hours that 20 arrests had been made in the city following England's Euro 2020 semi-final victory over Denmark. Fans took to the streets partying long into the night after witnessing the three Lions reach the final of a major tournament for the first time since 1966. A number of offenses took place during the wild celebrations. However, resulting in the Met reporting, 20 arrests have been made by officers following a number of offenses including common assault, public order and assault on police. Earlier in the evening the force had issued a number of tweets encouraging fans to travel home safely and stated that officers were out in numbers across London where large groups had congregated. 
patrolling and engaging with people. Buses in Brixton had to be diverted as revelers blocked roads, whilst Twitter videos showed a heavy police presence in Piccadilly Circus where some fans amongst the huge gathering had climbed open-top buses and mounted monuments and lampposts. This was the end for our 47th episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rumors tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.